Oh, hi. I didn't hear you pull in. Uh, welcome back to Grand Adventure. But I'm really glad you're here. We're glad to see you because we're just getting ready to head out on another trip. Um, it's the end of October. We're not going to have many more beautiful weekends like this, so I'm glad I didn't winterize the trailer yet. Uh, why don't you come along on our latest Grand Adventure today? But first, I've got to run down to the RV dealer. Wouldn't you know it, we were packing up this morning. Patricia went and closed the screen door, and the screen door handle broke off right in her hand. It never ends. I'll be right back. fixed so now we're ready to go uh, we're gonna head south into the west desert of Utah our plan is to go to a very unique place called Little Sahara uh, recreation area operated by the BLM the only potential problem is that Little Sahara's calling card is ATVs and uh, we're really not ATV people so if the place is a buzz quite literally with ATVs this weekend um, I've got a plan B and a plan C both sitting in my back pocket. So uh, let's head down there and see how busy it really is. Okay, we're gonna stop and get groceries. Um, we never seem to get out on time. You've never met my lovely wife, Patricia, uh, but now you have. Say hi. Bonjour. <laughs> Her native melt language is French. She always likes to joke that uh, we got along so well in the beginning because she couldn't understand me. Everything went downhill once she learned English. But right? I still don't. <laughs> Hear that? This place is not quiet. This morning, uh, a bunch of kids decided that they were going to use their ATVs and just do laps at high speed through the campground. I don't want to sound like the old guy screaming, kids get off my lawn, but if you're not into ATVs, this place is not the quietest place in the world. But I'm I'm torn. I mean, still, it's a beautiful place. The, the dunes are spectacular. Uh, let's go take a walk up there and have a look around. Little Sahara Recreation Area is located about two hours south-southwest of Salt Lake City in the Severe Desert, a subset of the Lonely Expanse collectively known in Utah as the West Desert. Operated by the BLM, Little Sahara encompasses some 60,000 acres of sagebrush flats, juniper-covered hills, and yes, free-moving sand dunes, all thanks to ancient Lake Bonneville. Remember our discussion of Lake Bonneville in Episode 7 of Grand Adventure from the Bonneville Salt Flats? Most of the sand at Little Sahara is the result of deposits left by the Severe River, which some 15,000 years ago flowed into Lake Bonneville to form a large river delta just south of present-day Little Sahara. After the lake receded to what is now the Great Salt Lake, the prevailing southwesterly winds that flow across the Severe Desert picked up the exposed sand from the river delta. Sand Mountain, in the middle of the dune field, deflected the wind upward, causing it to slow and drop its load of sand amongst the sagebrush and juniper around Sand Mountain, ultimately creating 124 square miles of giant, free-moving sand dunes. While the buzz of off-highway vehicles can be heard across most of Little Sahara, 
you can still find quiet in the Rockwell Outstanding Natural Area, a 9,000 acre vehicle free zone on the northwest side of Little Sahara. Although dispersed camping is allowed throughout Little Sahara, there are four established campgrounds that each provide ready access to the dunes. The most developed is the Oasis Campground with 115 paved sites, water and flush toilets in season, and a dump station. Jericho Campground, originally designed as a fenced picnic area, now serves as both a picnic and camping area perfect for large groups. We were in the White Sands Campground at the far northern end of the recreation area, where a hundred sites are hidden amongst the juniper trees. This was as far as we could get from the fourth campground at Sand Mountain, where up to 30,000 off-highway riders regularly gather on holiday weekends throughout the spring, summer, and fall to try their skill on a 700-foot hill climb. There are vendors stationed at Sand Mountain selling food and ATV related merchandise, but you'll have to venture further afield for anything else. While I may not ride myself, I have to admit that watching the festivities over at Sand Mountain was pretty damn cool. Just to the north and east of Little Sahara are the little known Tintic Mountains home to a once vibrant mining district that has disintegrated into a series of ghost towns, including Mammoth and Silver City. If you want gas, the nearest pumps are 25 miles away in Eureka, also in the Tintic Mining District, and seemingly soon to be a ghost town itself. You won't find much besides gas in Eureka, so if you need other supplies, you'll have to travel southwest from Little Sahara for nearly 40 miles along the lonely, flat, and straight U.S. Highway 6 to the small desert outpost of Delta, which nevertheless has a reasonable selection of not only gas stations, but also grocery and hardware stores and fast food outlets. After picking up some supplies and filling up the truck in Delta, I drove back to Little Sahara to enjoy sunset across the dunes with Patricia and the dogs and settle in beside a warm campfire for a cold evening at camp.
So I guess the upshot of our first visit to Little Sahara Recreation Area mm -hmm. is that it's a beautiful place. The dunes are spectacular. The sand is deep and soft and smooth, uh, but there are a lot of ATVs. Um, unless you're into uh, ATVing, and if you are, honestly, I can't think of a better spot to go. I mean, this, the, the, the scene at Sand Mountain has to be seen to be believed. Uh, but it, unless you're into ATVs or can at least tolerate them, even at the end of the season right now, at the end of October, it is kind of a noisy spot. Uh, but anyway, we had a great time. Uh, we hope that you'll join us again soon and make sure so that you can join us next time. Subscribe right on the screen or on the YouTube page on the big red subscribe button. If you like this video, give us, give us a thumbs up down below. Uh, love to see your comments and reply to any questions that you have down below as well. And remember, until next time, life is nothing but a grand adventure. See you soon.